me a lot of things. He's also a good friend of mine. We could talk about the Mets, the Jets, some slow of the Yankees. Didn't like the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> he, he loved talking about every play after the Jets game. If the Jets lost, he'd say, oh, Tommy must be in a bad mood. Don't call him. That's probably true. <laughs> but you got to see some of these plays sometimes. <laughs> he was also a man that had, was always smiling, had a great wit about him. He loved his jokes. He loved many, anybody on the joking side left. One of his favorite jokes was with the Finnegan. You see the knock at her door one night. She opened the door. Patty O'Reilly, best friend of her husband, was standing there. And she goes, Patty, what are you doing here? Didn't you go to the Guinness factory with my husband? Patty bowed his head and said, ah, there's been a terrible accident at the Guinness factory. Your husband fell into a vat of Guinness. She goes, oh my God, my God. And she starts crying. She said, did he at least go quickly? And he shook his head and said, not really. He got out three times to pee. <laughs> <laughs> the dad, dad loved his loving wife, Kathleen. His eight grandkids, Jack Patey, Jen Ryan. Diana, Alex, Eric, and Kyle, and of course the great grandkid, Mr. Perry. <laughs> he loved everybody. He had conversations with everybody and loved it. So with that, I'd like to read a little prayer for the Irish immigrant there. <laughs> On these farm shores, I've settled down, but my Irish heart will always long for home where the shamrock rose in fields of green and the leprechaun is sometimes seen. I've seen the cities of the west, mountains and canyons to take your breath, but secretly I long for home where on green fields I used to roam. An emerald isle in the sea, so far away yet dear to me, I'll dream of you forevermore till I'm staying again on the Atlantic shore. I just want to thank everybody for coming today. It really means a lot to us. Thank you very much.